Well, can you even think of Holi without gujiyas and bhang? Well, certainly we can't. And that's the reason why we want to tell you on what you should be doing after indulging in all of these goodies. Essentially, moderation is the key. But after Holi, you must detox. Here's how. Holi is all about letting your hair down. Sweets, bhang, masti and floric means problems the next day. Imagine being sloshed and having to turn up at work the next day. To get over from the after effects of the celebration and to slip into normal routine, here is what you must do. Lots of fried food and sugar on holiday. Well, a lot of people like me gorge into gujiyas even before the actual festival. So let the next day be about fiber and simple homemade food. Munch on nuts and fresh fruit. So during Holi, it's a festival, it's a big festival for Indians. So a lot of lip smacking uh, food is being prepared, dishes are prepared like sweets, gujiya and uh, then your malpoa, puran puli. So they are high in calories. So it's important that you sh one should eat uh, a moderation, not a very high calorie diet, not too much of sweets, not too much of uh, ghee, butter or something like that which is high in calories. Otherwise, you know that <laughs> people will get on with the weight. We overindulge in junk food consumption during Holi. We must start consuming fresh fruits and dry fruits to restore balance to our unhealthy eating. Antioxidants, protein and healthy minerals are abundant in these foods. In order to always have them on hand when you want to snack, it is best to keep them handy in a container. So a lot of fluids because in, uh, in Holi a lot of dehydration happens. So you have to rehydrate, you have to hydrate yourself too more. So you should have a sip of water or a coconut water or juices. A lot of fluids has to be taken so that you don't get into dehydration. Hydrate yourself. If you frequently consumed alcoholic beverages while at the festival, be aware that doing so causes your body to get dehydrated. Dehydration and sugary foods together may cause additional problems. After Holi, make sure you drink enough water. Yogurt and paneer are examples of probiotic foods that you can include in your diet. You can also switch to consuming fresh juices if you don't enjoy eating fresh fruits. These liquids can replenish all the energy you expended playing holy. Also, the biggest problem we deal with is getting over a hangover. During holy, one should maintain a calorie-based diet. It is, should not be too high calories. You should have a lot of fibers, fruits and not uh, your sweets, which is usually being taken during holy. So, you have to see that you eat in a moderation. So in the breakfast you can have light diet like a, a oat smoothie or something like that and in the lunch you can have uh, fruits, salads and other things uh, etc which can, which can be included in your diet. Even makhana kheer which is also low in calories which can be included. How does one do that right? Other tips are exercise. Working out will help your heart beat faster and improve the amount of oxygen and nutrients that reach your cells in your blood. Muscle cramps and fatigue are elevated by exercise. Exercise also causes the production of endorphin and the happy hormone, which help combat the effects of post-festival blues. Also, plentiful sleep and rest will revitalize the complete system. With Shitaja Gosavi, Pure Report, India Today.